In this video, I will show you how to sign up for Microsoft 365 account. After signing up, I will show you how to connect your custom domain with the Microsoft account so you can create your custom email accounts with the domain name. Here on this page, you can see the plans offered by Microsoft. The amount will be different as per the country you are located. I want to go with the Microsoft 365 Business Basic plan because I already have the desktop version of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook with my another Microsoft business account. It offers one month of free trial. I'll click on this. Here I need to add my email address. This is my email address. I'll click on next. They did not find any Microsoft account with this, so I need to set up a new account. I'll click on setup account. I'll provide my first name, last name, business phone number. I'll add my number. Here you need to provide the name of the company. I'll add my company name here, company size, one person. You can select any other numbers in this list. I'm located in India. I do not want to receive product update emails. I do not want to share my information here. So I'll click next. They will verify the phone number. So I'll click on send verification code. Verify. I need to provide my username. So that is the username. You can see here it will create a subdomain with my company name, what I have entered earlier. Technology at Skills Lab, I want to keep it short. TG is Skills Lab. The email ID will be joy at tgskills.onmicrosoft.com. But later when I add my domain name with this account, then I can create the email accounts with the domain name. We'll see that in a moment. I'll create a password here and I'll confirm the password. I'll click on the next button quantity and payment how many users i want to create for now i will create one user and i need to add the payment method i'll quickly add my card details here I entered all the payment details, my tax ID and everything. Now I can start my trial. Here you see the start trial button. I'll click on that. Now the account has been created. This is the username I need to use when I sign into my Microsoft business account. Now I'll click on start using Microsoft 365 business. This is the setup window when your account is ready. I'll click on the continue. Here you see set up custom domain. So I want to set up my custom domain now. I can set it up later, but I want to show you the process. So I'll click on set up custom domain and my domain is tgskillslab.com. You can use your Microsoft 365 account without a domain name. They provide you a subdomain. You can see it here, tgskillslab.onmicrosoft.com and I'll click on use this domain. Now I need to verify. I'll click on this verify link. Since my domain is with GoDaddy, Microsoft wants to log into GoDaddy to verify the domain. I'll click on connect. I am already logged into my GoDaddy account. So they didn't ask for the username and password for my GoDaddy account. Now the custom domain is ready. You can see if I add a username, the email ID will be at tgskillslab.com. You can see it here. The first name will be Joy and I'll not add any last name and I want the email joy at tgskillslab.com and I'll click on add users and continue. You can add more users later. I already verified the domain. Now I need to connect the domain. So I'll click on continue. It shows to start routing emails through Microsoft 365 for TG Skills Lab. That is my domain name. Select the plan and we will prompt you to sign into GoDaddy to approve the connection and automatically add the DNS records required for that service. When I scroll down, I can see these are the records I need to add to my domain. Either I can add the records manually. Let me show you. This is my GoDaddy account and here you see the domain name tgskillslab.com if i click on dns and here i can add the records i see here the mx record txt record cname and for the other services i need to add all these records since microsoft can do this by logging into my godaddy account i will select that option here you see will prompt you to sign into godaddy i'll click on add dns records and now i'll click on connect I'll click on done. 
and this is the dashboard of my Microsoft 365 admin. Here you can see the users. Currently I have two users. One is associated with my custom domain and the other one is associated with the Microsoft specified subdomain. I do not want to keep a license for this Microsoft subdomain account. I'll click on this manage product license and I will click on this Microsoft 365 business basic. I'll click on save. Now it is unlicensed. So currently I only have one license that is joy at tgskillslab.com. Although I can use this account to log into my admin dashboard. I'll set a password for this account. Automatically create a password. Now I want to create the password manually and reset password. Now I can access the services I got with this plan. Now I will log in with the custom domain email I created. I am logged into office.com. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.